Kling has answered Google with their quick rollout of 2.1. My name is Rosh, and I am the co-host of the Creative AI Show, where we are two creative guys talking AI. And in this video, we're talking Kling 2.1. And we're going to compare it to Kling. And we're going to compare it to other platforms such as Runway and Pika, just to see how this version fares. First thing to note is that it's not available for text to video. When you hit text to video, you're back to 1.6. Image to video is available for 1.6, 2.0, as well as 2.1. So we'll go to the library as well as upload some new images to compare the new sub model. It's not a full upgrade, but 2.1 well, I think it's a little better than 2.0. Recently, I did a video on food clips using images to then bring alive using the different platforms. And Kling did a good job, but there are plenty of errors. Let's take a look at what happened. So here's the first one, and it's, it's okay. You can see some issues. It's using Kling 2.0, and there is some sound generation that we added later. There's another one with some sound, but let's take a look at what 2.1 can do. Yeah, we won't add sound with this one, but let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. 2.1. Oh, wow. Much better. That is a big difference. Look at that. Okay, let's try something else. One of the things I would like to test is the multi-elements. And this is a combination of three different elements, the background, uh, the model in the red dress, as well as the sword. And if you click on multi-element, it sends us back to Kling 1.6. So we'll have to stick with bringing the images to life, but when it's available, we'll certainly test it out. Here's one we wanna play with. This looked pretty good with bring to life and I think it was one of the best out of the different AIs that platforms that we tested. So let's see if we can't find this image and we'll, we won't bring it to like, but we will bring it to life. Here we go. And hmm. Oh, <laughs> where did that juice come from? You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this is necessarily better. Let's take a look at the original 2.0. Here's the original 2.0, and yeah, that's much better. So this is what the original image looked like, just for reference. Here is Kling 2.1 Master, and I need to make note here that I recorded much of this video with 2.1 in mind, not really taking into account that Master is actually the full high-resolution best 2.1 version. And it took me partially through the video to realize that. So note that some of my comments are based off of the faster 2.1, which is 35 credits. And like the 2.0, 2.1 master is also 100 credits. So although it is true that platforms will encourage you to use the faster, more efficient versions because they cost less. That's not the case here. Let's take a look. And wow, nice explain. And it, here, this is the difference that I've seen in this one versus some of the others is that his reaction. Now, that cup thing with 2.1, that, that was funny. But this is more the reaction you would expect. You know, what's going on? So I, I'm pretty happy. Now we do have some interesting morphing here because now we have two straws. Not sure where the other one came from, but again, we're having some of these issues just coming out of nowhere, but it is certainly much better than the faster version, uh, Kling 2.1. So, so now let's upload a new image and compare to Runway and Pika. The model and the husky walk toward the camera. I'll copy this, so we'll use the same prompt for the others. Runway's been doing a really good job lately, so let's see how well it 
compares to the new Kling 2.1. We're using Gen 4 and Pika. There are obviously quite a few different models to work with. We have the new VO3, which I think ultimately is still the dominant version, except there's not as much access. I've actually run out of credits there pretty quickly. So based on my experience with VO3, and I've worked a lot with it now, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I still think it's the best, especially because of the audio the, and background noises that are included in the final output. But these are just comparisons in terms of actual imagery and quality of the video clips. So the model starts first and then the dog, oh, there's a bad morphing there with the dog. Look at that. Yeah, that wasn't good at all, 2.1. The model's fine, but hmm, I'm not sure. Now, I did create a second one by accident, so let's just take a look and see what the second version looks like. Okay, and oh, more morphing with the dog. Interesting. Well, this means we need to check out 2.0 and see if it morphs with this image too. So 2.1 costs us 35 credits. If we go back to 2.0, it costs us 100. Why is this? Couple reasons. One, they may just be encouraging us to use 2.1, but also the 2.1 may be less expensive to run because of efficiency updates. Now we'll see if it's worth it. Well, it looks like uh, this is getting delayed. It's, uh, it was uh, longer than 14 minutes, so I'm going to head on over to Runway and see what Runway did, and we'll come back and see if Kling 2.0 beats out 2.1. Here we are at Runway. Let's take a look. Well, Runway did a good job. The uh, model is looks good. Uh, the, the dog is a little off, but I'm telling you that the uh, all the AIs have had trouble with dogs. That's why Husky running in a daisy field tends to be one of my favorite go-tos in terms of comparisons, and VO3 did a really good job with that one. Let's head on over to Pika. Here's Pika and slow motion. And uh, honestly, Pika 2.2 has just fallen behind many of the other models. Uh, Pika really needs to have a big upgrade coming. Hopefully it's coming soon. So let's try a couple other models just to give us some more comparisons because quite honestly, we have a few minutes before we get our 2.0 version over at Kling. Okay, we're over at Luma Labs Dream Machine and we're using Ray 2. We'll check that out. So many of you have been talking about Hilu and Minimax and well, this one's for you guys to see if it actually compares. Here's Dream Machine Luma Labs Ray 2 and well, I, I don't know. Um, the model and the Husky walk toward the camera. No, no walking, no, well, I'm going to say that didn't work so well. Let's see what Hilu and Minimax did. Here we go. Not too bad. I think it's a pretty strong comparison to, say, Kling. I think the others didn't do quite as good of a job. Pika and Luma Labs certainly didn't do it. So this one, comparable. I, I don't think it's the best, but it's comparable. And here's Kling 2.0, and the dog just sits there. I mean, good dog. But, and the, the model is walking like a model, and not, not bad at all. I would say that, well, let's take a look. How would you compare? Well, I think it's about the same kind of a walking approach, but the dog, again, morphing like that, I'd rather it just sit there and be a good dog and, and not more fall over the place. So I'm going to say 2.0, although the model is about the same, uh, the dog uh, was, well, better in 2.0, although I would like to try it again to get the dog to move. However, 2.0 is taking a long time. And hey, we have a video to get out. Here's 2.1 with the Husky, and 
Yes, here we go. The Husky is walking nicely. The model we never had an issue with. There's a lot of good detail in 2.1 and 2.1 Master. And now we're not getting the morphing with the dog and actually a really nice, nice movement. Uh, it is actually impressive. So again, I'm going to have some comments. I, I still think that maybe this was rushed because of 3.0 in my conclusions, but obviously a lot better than maybe I was indicating when just reviewing the 2.1 versions of Kling. I would say overall, Kling 2.1 is better, especially within the details compared to 2.0. However, I think it was probably launched too much in haste due to VO3. And we've seen this before on other platforms, especially like Pika, where they would release things too quickly and it just wasn't ready for prime time. So I'm gonna say yes, 2.1, better, but not fully ready for prime time, but I'm sure they'll make some updates. If you want to hear more about AI for the Creative, definitely check into the Creative AI Show every Monday on this YouTube channel, as well as your favorite podcast location where we are, two creative guys talking AI. See you in the next video.